Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Tropico 5. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and, uh, you know, we are going for a reload, you know, nice and nice and uh, early in the episode. There we go. Okay, wow, what is this? Allies send us 14 grand. Holy cow, I'll take that any day. And kapow, Catman and Yarnboy have, uh, have vanquished another crime lord. Take that, evildoers. Quite right. Anyway, as I was saying, we are on a... Uh... Was so convincing that Congress has decided <laughs> to the prohibition. Fantastic. This means that we will be able to uh, resume exports, but at normal prices. Well, that's annoying, but at the same time, it's fine. Uh, let me just quickly check my, my, um, my research and my edicts, because I'm not entirely sure... That's the one that I was looking for. Not entirely sure if I've if I've done everything right. I mean, extra rations is not something that we should be doing. A building permit is uh, is potentially something that we're interested in. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Do we want to enact anything? Not not really, to be honest. We've paid back all of our government debt, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Uh, industrialization decreases the cost of all factories by 50% of their base price for the next two years. Not really worth doing now, although we probably should have done that. Guarantees at least poor wealth for unemployed kids, students, and retirees. Um, not super thrilled about that, but literacy program and mortgage subsidies are, are, are both really, really good. And amnesty? Nah, we, we don't really have uh, any threat of rebels, to be honest. Like, we're, we're actually all gravy with rebels at the moment. But you know what we're not all gravy for? We're not really all gravy for healthcare. I don't think we're really doing too good in healthcare. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not looking so hot. It's not looking so hot. Also, housing. Housing is a little bit of an issue, but we're working towards that. The most important thing, undoubtedly, has got to be has got to be schools. We are trying to get as many people through school as possible. And, uh, yeah, we've got quite a few people still in fields. Oh, we have got a crisis. We're under attack. Where? Where is this attack? I'm not convinced if I don't see nothing. Well, I guess... I guess we're fine then. Uh, we've got 11 grand in the bank. I feel that we should probably do something with this. Like, what What do we want to do? A cannery? A cannery is something that we're going to have to do. A jewelry workshop uh, is also something that we're interested in doing. But, apart from that, is there anything that's sort of super urgent? I mean... Maybe another high school. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say, yep, yeah, fuck it. We'll 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 try and get another high school down, and right in there is is the perfect opportunity for us, because we just need to get as many people as physically possible through high school, because it's worth it. You know, it is totally unbelievably worth it. Getting people through college is not something that I'm super super concerned about. Can we upgrade? Oh no. Oh no, if relations do not improve, we will be invaded. Well, we're, we're actually being invaded right now. Um, we should manage. Like, have we got the upgrade on this? Let's get a personal death squad upgrade. Why not? Our allies sent two, two squads to reinforce us. Don't mind if I do. Fantastic. So, yeah, this is going to be uh, fairly in our favor, I think. Fingers crossed we're still... Yeah, we're still allies with... Uh, we're still allies with the allies, quite rightly so, I think. Um, and it looks like as long as we can get our inventory into the situation and fighting, then we'll be in a position to win. I mean, obviously the tanks are really difficult to take out because they've got like so much health. But apart from that, you know, we've got the advantage. We've got the advantage. We've got loads of troops and fingers crossed we'll be able to do uh, a good number on them and just uh, wipe up, so to speak. Now, <laughs> a crime lord has been discovered. You can view a list of all specialized citizens from the Alamantic. Alamantic? What am I talking about? Almanac population page. Cool. Who are you up here? You are... You're a rebel. Okay. Let's, let's go and have a look and see... Okay, let's go and have a look and see the cool people. Like, is there anybody that's... Where do we... 
where do we see politics no where do we see the people where do we see the cool people I mean it did just tell me the population page but there's no population page hmm oh well whatever uh, military loyalty is quite high that's good rebel threat known rebels Ugh, we don't really want to force anybody off whatever let's just fight this invasion we might as well where the hell are our tanks fucking sitting all the way back over there stupid Good day. you are a crime lord and your wealth is filthy rich okay okay that's fine I mean like I'm okay with this yeah it doesn't matter we have successfully repelled the enemy invasion don't mind if I do good job all around I think is uh, is what we should say none of our agents were killed but we failed to steal money and do I hear a protest? I think I heard a protest. I heard a protest. Negotiate. Um, you know what? Get one. Get rid of one uh, rebel leader. Yeah, that's cool. I can get rid of one rebel leader. Well, maybe maybe that's not the rebel leader then. Perhaps. Maybe the, maybe he's just a rebel. Okay, great, great. Um, but we still don't know how to do that. Okay, rebel threat is very, very high. No, no, no. Good day. Greetings. Good evening. Rebel leader. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get you. Uh, let's get you killed. There we go. Let's kill you. I just got an achievement. The cause of death. I wonder what I have to do to get that achievement. Execute a rebel leader. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna execute the uh, the rebel leader anyway, and that'll be fine. Achievement unlocked. Cause of death. We can see that uh, just up there. Fantastic to see. Fantastic to see. Our popularity is somewhat uh, is is somewhat declining, unfortunately, which is a real shame because I thought we were doing rather rather well, to be honest. Uh, we imported foreign goods worth two thousand eight hundred. That's a okay with me uh, because we're making a shit ton from from rum anyway. It's just annoying how we just cannot get enough people through school. There's eight out of eight students. There's there's always eight out of eight, or eight, yeah, eight out of eight, basically everywhere. So we're trying our absolute best to ensure. In fact, you know what? Let's up it to, let's up it to four, four out of five payment types, so that we can just try and encourage uh, more people to go into education to train people up. I think that's probably you know what we have to do. I don't think we've got any other option because otherwise we just end up with an empty cigar factory and an empty textile mill both of which are bloody terrible for us because we need to make sure that we're constantly producing stuff and we're just not because we just don't have the, the population that uh, that we require unfortunately <laughs> a crime lord has been discovered well fantastic what do I need to do defeat the crime lords by banishing or eliminating them okay I can do that I can do that um factions no popular support no like well, internal threats known rebels i mean these are just rebels though like they're not they're not crime no, lords no 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 hi ya ya hi uh yeah but we we're, we're, we're still looking for the communist capitalists don't really care to be honest I just need I just need to find out where the hell the crime lords go and then I'm sorted really actually um, maybe we can just eyeball them I love that's the rebel leader who's gonna be assassinated but oh okay. you we need to we need to banish you banishing banishing seems to be the best way to go about doing things we need to get out of debt as well. Like, holy shit, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of money that we're we're actually in the negative. Unfortunately, it's been a while since the allies have decided to gift us some uh, some cash, some wonga wonga. You, somebody just went in here. I am sorry, but we didn't discover any. For a small maybe something will come up in our notes. Oh yeah. Nothing big. Twenty percent. I will tell you our amazing techniques of begging for bribes. Oh man. Five percent. We will also make up. 
Man, I love it. I really, really do. Uh, what does the customs office actually, actually do? Where on earth is the customs office? Here we go. Improves prices of export trade routes. It's a unique building. That's cool. We also haven't got the lighthouse yet, which apparently gives us more trade routes, which is something that we're very interested in doing. Good day. Okay, I want money so I can banish you. And we are gonna we're gonna make money. But we need to we need to just banish a whole bunch of crime lords, apparently. Like that's our, our mission. Unfortunately. Born in the UK. That's kinda cool, I guess. Because I'm from there, but I'm not a crime lord. I think that probably goes without saying. Um, yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Let's have enough to banish. Got, we don't have enough to banish? Are you kidding me? Jeez. That's terrible. We need way more cash than that. How are we doing so badly for cash? I don't know, but we're doing really, really badly. Maybe we're just importing too much? I don't know, we've got a blue exclamation mark though, so this means something. Congratulations, Presidente. Socialism is finally here! Finally here! Since we're somewhat new to this sort of thing, I bought a manual that promises good. to teach us socialism in four easy steps. Good, good. Alright, great, fantastic. Now, I've just realized that I have a little bit of cash because uh, my good friends, the Allies, sent us almost 14 grand. Don't mind if I do. Let's banish you. Great giant tropical spiders, President. Unrest. Have... Fuck. You've appropriated 4,400 bucks from the banished family. Not bad. Let's banish you as well. How much money do I get from you? You didn't manage to appropriate any wealth. What a shame. What a shame. Kapow! Catman and Yarn Boy have vanquished another crime lord. Good. Quite right. Quite right. Uh, but we are... We are taking care of the crime lords as soon as I see them pop serve. up. You're going to get banished. There we go. Do we get any money for it? Let's see. You didn't manage to appropriate any wealth from the family. What a darn shame. What a darn, darn shame. And as soon as we see the last guy pop up, which actually I think... Hey, no, we've already. Yeah, he's going. He's going to emigrate. Um, this guy. This is the guy over here. The last guy, crime lord. You can. Uh, you can piss off because we don't want you. And what are we gonna get? We have to save the city from the evil. I don't know, actually. Well, what a shame. We're not gonna get anything, I don't think. And apparently, we need to build a new clinic. You know what? I can do that. I can just about do that. Holy shit! Our food happiness is gosh darn terrible. Uh, let's get a clinic welfare in media. That is exactly where it is. Another clinic. We probably, you know, getting another clinic is probably actually long overdue. Should probably have done it earlier, but whatever. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, we shall survive anyway. The rebels are attacking. Well, okay, I'm worried about this. I'm worried about this because... Okay, let's let's try and uh, go into our edicts and try and think about getting some sort of a. I mean, I don't know. Like, what what actually makes the rebels happy? What do the rebels actually care about? I don't know. I I really do not know. An amnesty. Yeah. Rebels. What rebels? I'll issue. I'll issue that and. I'll try and, you know, eradicate the rebels through the, the use of peaceful means. But I really don't know why the rebel threat is so darned high. I mean, it is very, very high. Um, we can, we could just sort of like try to just go around them and just kill them off or something. I mean, that's probably something that we would be interested in doing. Look at all these crime lords just walking down to the boats, getting ready to sail off. Don't destroy my ranch, you sons of bitches. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not cool. Okay, so how many people do we have working in education now? We should have a lot more. We should have a lot more people. We've got 11 out of 11 students being trained in every single okay, school. Hey. Yeah. The Jolly Roger. And Barry the Hatchet, my goodness, I, I, she's amazing, she's really, really cool, she's really, really funny, I like her, I like her a lot. Um, 
yeah, popular support, it, it somewhat dipped, unfortunately, which is not something that I'm super, super thrilled about. But hey-ho, that's just the, the sad reality of the situation. Why are you not happy with me? Why are you not happy with me? Pretty much healthcare, healthcare and liberty. Liberty is not actually something that we've cared about in a long, long time. In fact, we don't even have a newspaper. Let's get a newspaper. Let's get ourselves a newspaper as soon as we get uh, even the slightest little bit of cash. Then, uh, then that's something that I'm totally on board with. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure that we're doing okay for sugar. I want to start shutting down some of these places because I feel that we really shouldn't need to. Let's queue you up for demolition. I mean, we did this in the last playthrough. Bef the last playthrough. I say the last playthrough. Before death, that playthrough. Um, and yeah, it seems it seems that we really need to do get we really need to do we really need to get rid of this because oh hell we need stuff we absolutely do need stuff. Love that the creamery is working. I don't love the fact that we're you know severely understaffed almost everywhere, uh, and we're just exporting raw tobacco rather than actually in a cigar factory. You know, I mean, but. Once again, this goes back to the fact that we just don't have enough graduates. We just don't have enough people coming out of high schools, which is a real, real shame. But we're working on it. We're working on it. How many folk do we have that are unemployed? That's the real question. 25 people that are unemployed. Lots are from college. A couple are from school. High schools, that is. Uh, and a couple are illiterate. Well, we're always in need of more Teamsters offices. Always in need of more Teamsters offices. How much do you get paid here? At the, the cigar factory. Zero out of 150 bucks. Okay. Yeah, so... It, it might be worth people just... Greetings. Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa! You uh, you went for a little sail? That's kind of cool. This is this is so nice. This area, this fishing trawler, ago, so darn cool. Jokes. Now, oh, hey! Have to weaponize numbers. <laughs> they have proved to be the most inhumane way to destroy the human soul. Oh ever. man, I love this guy. I absolutely fucking love him. I I love him to bits. Now, unlocked in the Cold War. Well, I think that probably shows what we are going to. Uh, Set up by my arch enemy, El Lupus. <laughs> now we have fallen into his shark infested trap. Is oh no. This the end of our heroes? Let's, um. Let's praise the Allies. Let's praise the Allies, and then. It looks like the wars in Europe will finally end. It is but a matter yes. of time before the Allies deal the Axis a crushing blow. There we go. Good thing we banked on the right side for winning. We need to be prepared for the new world order, and after everything is said and done, we should sign treaties with both sides so that no one will try to blame us for what happened. Let's accept that reward. Fairly happy with that. Offer to sign a treaty with the Allies. The Allies are pleased by your cooperation Thank you. during this extremely turbulent time. Thank you very much. They will they will sign a treaty with us without reservation. Uh do we want to send an ambassador? Oh, what do you want? Presidente, according to the manual, the next step in building oh, a social build a new high school. Um, do these does this stuff disappear? We can get by with a little. Let's let's praise the allies. The jig is up, El Lupus. Uh, deposit the money, build a new high school. Okay, I'm just trying to like do do the last sort of few little things here so that. Uh, I actually have the ability to, without reservation, proceed to the next level. Because, you know, I, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we we don't leave any, any stone unturned. Okay, and, and you know, 20, 20 educated citizens? I am down with that. Although I'm quite happy for this food and housing thing to disappear. Although I don't even know. They might not even carry over. Like, they just might not. Uh, could quick build it. I'll put it on high priority, shall we? Before we proceed. Uh, and yeah, we'll probably start the next episode in the Cold War. How is that? How fantastic is that? Well, it's not fantastic that we're in a, a period of, uh, you know, Cold War or whatever. But it's kind of kind of cool. 
Foreign agents have destroyed our cattle ranch. Excuse me? I want to fucking rebuild that cattle ranch with all of my heart and soul. That's stupid. This is on high priority, so we're going to get this done. El Pronto, I think. Fingers crossed, anyway. There we go. 60%. We're almost done. We're just finishing up here. I apologize for uh, for wasting your time, but it is going to get done. There we go. trouble with our new high school. Comrade President, oh, no. you have to step in and solve the issue. Oh no, what do we want? Um, okay, we get a free church or a free barracks or a free cannery or a free observatory. Uh, let's go for a free cannery because we actually do need to get a cannery up online. Like that's something, that's, well, that's one of the things that we don't actually have that I did say I wanted to get. Cannery, absolutely free. I will take that any fucking day of the week. Holy shit, that is a great deal. Okay, let's go and sign the treaty. Signed an ambassador. Okay, press I play. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but oh I no. Those oh no. Generals won't sign a treaty with us. Oh no, they're gonna invade. They're going to invade shit balls. Okay, uh, wow, okay, that's that's not great. That's not great. Did the Allies send any troops to help? The Allies sent us 12 grand, and the Allies sent two units. That's cool. <laughs> 39 citizens arrive in Tropico. That's fantastic. That is, that is really very, very good. And are we actually starting to see people working in the cigar factory? Not quite yet. We're not even seeing anybody working in the textile mill, which is a real shame. Uh, but we did just get 20, 20 educated citizens. So why the hell are we not seeing people going into jobs? 42 unemployed people. 42 unemployed high school graduates. They should be going into jobs very, very soon indeed. Fingers crossed. It's quite a large force that we've got to uh, go up against. But I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite confident in our success to be honest I just really want to make sure that the uh, the axis don't destroy us before that happens if they do then you know that's a little bit of a bummer but at the same time I, I don't think they're gonna manage I I do not think they're gonna manage Good can I banish you you're a crime lord I don't sort of I, I sort of don't want you on my island I'm afraid I appropriated almost three grand in wealth from the family don't mind if I do that is fantastic news yeah, but we're absolutely wrecking and shrekking these fools. Wow, just look at all the units that we have. Jeez Louise. And now we're going to go up against the tanks. And the tanks. The wow. The wow, look at look at how quickly that health is falling. Like, that is, that is quite something. Holy cow, get wrecked, son. Beautiful. And uh, just like that, we managed to repel the invasion. <laughs> the Axis concluded their business with you, and we'll sign a treaty. There we go, ladies and gents. We are into the Cold War. The oil industry is available. Tourism is available. Research and construct either the nuclear or the space program. So very, very, very good to see. We will see what happens in the next episode. But for now, my name, of course, has been Over the Potato. Tune in next time for some more Tropico 5, the Potato Dictatorship. Until then, bye.